The use of heroin and pain pills is an epidemic that is only getting worse. Today, Mike Shue reports officials from three of the counties surrounding Baltimore met to try and combat the problem. If you think it's a city problem, think again. The 250 people in this ballroom are, by and large, from the county surrounding Baltimore. Howard. It's not a city problem. Anne Arundel. It is an epidemic. Harford. The heroin epidemic has uh, migrated into every community in Maryland. In fact, statewide, 920 people have overdosed so far this year. Compare that to 601 for the same time last year. But we have these problems like everybody else has, and it's crazy for us to pretend we don't have them, and so we need to start talking about it. Kittleman pitched the, the idea to fill this room with health professionals, addiction experts, and law enforcement to try to figure out what to do. As nationwide, no area has successfully reduced deaths or addiction by opioids. A heroin doesn't know any zip code, any demographic. It's an it's a equal opportunity destroyer. In Anne Arundel, dealers are being targeted and... But we're not interested in jailing people suffering from addiction. We want to get them into treatment, and that's the second leg of our efforts. We're expanding treatment options all over the county to get people the help they need. Do you remember the moment you had a problem? Absolutely. I'll never forget it. You um, may recognize um, this man. Um, Sportscaster Keith Mills beat his addiction to pain pills. Oh, I was a functioning uh, a drug addict, so to speak, and uh, uh, fortunately, I did finally put my pride aside and say, hey, uh, wake up, go get some help, and, and uh, I got some. Testimony like his, helping these professionals to try to put the pills and the powder back in the bottle. All of the counties are now talking about more money for education, more money for treatment. I'm Mike Shue, WJZ Eyewitness News, reporting from Clarksville, back to you on TV Hill. And heroin prevention briefings will be held at three Harford County high schools this month, beginning tomorrow night in Edgewood at 6.30.